Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India for those who probably don't know me anymore. Um, I am a reader and a book buyer and um, I am the owner behind this channel. So stay tuned for essentially a life update and where I've been for the last probably couple of years. Okay, so like I was saying, um, my name is India and I am, I can't even say like I'm a content creator anymore because I have been doing such a terrible job time job of creating content of doing book reviews of doing all those things um but today i just kind of want to explain why um there are some trigger warnings for depression fertility um and things like that i guess um going forward in this video so proceed with caution but just kind of wanted to let you know um so let's see it's 2024 right now so i gotta go back i actually gotta go back a little bit <laughs> um let's see 2022 the end of 2022 so it doesn't feel like it was so long ago but it was it was i guess a long time ago but we're talking like november december of 2022 right um it was at that point i decided i was ready to have a baby like i'm ready to have a baby i'm getting old it's time like I'm ready to have a baby and so with that most people don't know and they shouldn't know because it's to my health I you don't have to put your health on the internet um with that my previous job essentially gave me a panic disorder um no matter how much I enjoyed doing that job the system and the way it was ran gave me a panic and anxiety disorder essentially so I was on medications for that right cool whatever um that is fine um for those who might ask um because i've had this question before you know some people ask when do you know that you should be on medication for something like anxiety or panic disorder for me um just to put it simply for me it was when i started having panic attacks outside of work outside of doing of doing things that that could trigger a panic attack for me like could or even if I was at work could be while I was sitting around um I don't know I was a I am a paramedic or I was a paramedic um or I was sitting around literally the fire station not doing a thing <laughs> and a panic attack would come come on me I could feel it coming so that's what I knew like this isn't manageable this is not sustainable I cannot I cannot live this way <laughs> so getting on medications was the first step for me okay that was way before 2022 that was way way back when um but anyway so 22 2022 rolls around i'm like okay i'm ready for baby but i need to start getting off these medications um because i can't be on them while pregnant or you know or it's a choice not to be on them while pregnant whatever so with that i talked to my my psychiatrist, I talked to my blah, 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 anyway. And so we start to wean me down off this medication that I've now been on for years. Awful, worst thing ever. Um, and then my dumbass was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quit. I'm gonna go cold turkey. Mm, also, a terrible decision. And I know this is a terrible decision. Like, I know this. I did it anyway. And so with that, that put me I mean, just forgetting withdrawal symptoms of dizziness, headaches, nausea, me just being physically miserable, my mental state went down the drain. I was in probably the darkest place I have ever been in my life. Like, I was depressed I was sad I was SI I'm just gonna leave it at that um <laughs> and I was just awful just so awful but of course I wasn't willing to do anything about it I still went to work every day at this point now I've changed jobs thank god I've changed jobs I've gotten a new career a new job and I am doing things so of course I'm not dealing, I'm not telling anybody about it. I'm just dealing with it on my own. I'm dizzy as hell all the time. 
and this goes on for like a good month month and a half of me just being completely miserable so we're getting through December we're getting through January you know that's through my birthday um, um through all these things and I just, like and because I really wasn't talking to people about my before I even got to this point my depression my anxiety my panic attacks even like it was hard to even talk to like my mom who is my favorite person and so it was hard to even talk to my mom and so even on those like really down days she just she didn't understand um she couldn't she doesn't grasp it and then she's also just from a different time frame for you know especially the african-american community and mental health um and so it was it was hard it felt very alone i was very much alone um so it was hard but we got through it we got through it um so that was that was that <laughs> um from there got through it through this I'm still reading um through this I also decided to start um a bachelor's program so I'm in bachelor's for nursing so I'm in school I'm doing that online but full-time online working full-time so I'm doing that <laughs> Um, during all of this, I've got papers, coursework, all this stuff to do, right? Um, and then from there, I think I, I said, I said, I'm ready to have a baby. <laughs> but like, not quite ready to have a baby. Like my mental, like, I'm ready to have a baby, so I'm going to put the steps in progress to make this baby. So I've still got all the things in place to not have a baby <laughs> at this point. And so finally, when we get through this process of, of detox and mental state, don't worry, I got a therapist. I saw a therapist, um, not during my darkest time, which, you know, um, was stupid, but after I started to just feel like I could talk to somebody. Um, so don't worry, I did get a therapist. Um, <laughs> if you're wondering, um, there's a whole great resource out there for black women, therapyforblackgirls.com. I found my therapist through there. Um, absolutely love her. Um, I'll link the website down below. They also have a podcast, which is how I got to it, was listening to the podcast through this time. <laughs> um, so... From there, I finally have this conversation with my doctor, and you know, I've scheduled an appointment, have this conversation with my doctor and my midwife, we're fast forwarding. I'm like, I'm ready to have a baby. <laughs> They're like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. They're like, are you absolutely sure? I was like, yes, I'm absolutely sure, because we talked about this a year ago. You were like, you should probably then start taking prenatals now. I said, cool, so I've been taking prenatals now for like a year. <laughs> um, I said, cool. Um, so that way I'm ready. And then it was just a bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Got rid of the thing that was keeping, you know, me from not having babies, right? So that's like, that's like, you know, February, March, I don't know, of 2023. We're in 2023. So cool, 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 cool. I was not anything hormonal um, because when I was on hormonal things earlier, um, you know, that did not help my depression at all. <laughs> uh, go figure. Um, and so, <laughs> and so yeah through all this like I said I'm still reading I'm still reading I'm not reading as much but I am reading books um because I've just got school work and all this other stuff and then so I'm like cool great my husband and I go on vacation and like may we go on a cruise with a couple of friends you know what the cruise was for I don't have to explain that had tons of fun whatever blah 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 um, end up, um, you know, after that, I end up finding out that I'm pregnant. So that's like May, May of 2023, find out I'm pregnant in June. And then my mom and my godmother and I are going on a cruise. Um, so at this point we're like at four weeks, right? My God, my grand, my godmother and my mother and I were going on a cruise together. And so I really wanted to tell them because, um, Obviously, if we're going on a cruise and all of a sudden, what, I'm not drinking margaritas and pina coladas on this cruise ship, 
right? Suspect. So, <laughs> so I told them, I just told them, so at this point, they're the only people who know. My husband doesn't even know. They're literally the only people who know because I'm like, cool. Um, I'm pregnant. We're at four weeks. Cool. Um, I move forward. I get to six weeks. I'm making an appointment with my doctor. I'm like, hey, I want to do a pregnancy confirmation because we don't, because you shouldn't go to the ER for those because why are you going to the ER for those? But that's a whole different discussion. <laughs> um, so I'm making a, com a confirmation with my doctor. Um, um, and you know, they don't do confirmations until eight weeks. Cool. Whatever. Make an appointment. Cool. So we're hit this six weeks mark. Basically two days after I make that appointment, I have a miscarriage. <laughs> I have a miscarriage. And, and so I'm going through this miscarriage. It's literally happening while I'm at work. Um, so I just continue my work day. I have to work the whole weekend. Um, I come to work. Or I remember that was like a short shift for me that day. I picked up an extra, extra shift. That was a short shift. And I started noticing the symptoms at the, around the end of it. And so then I still have to come to work the next day. Ah, I still have to come to work. I just popped my hip. Uh, <laughs> still have to come to work the next day. Um, at this point, you know, I call my doctor. Of course, I call my doctor. Of course, their answer, like any other doctor's office answer, is to go to the ER. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not going to the ER for this. I already know what's happening. I already know what's happening, right? Um... And so, but I go, I go to work the next day. Um, at this point, you know, I ask, I ask a friend, can you look at this for me? I ask a doctor, can you, can you look at me for me? Not really look at this. I need you to look at me for me. I'm lucky I work in a place where I can do that. I said, can you look at me for me? <laughs> I just need confirmation for something that I already know because my medical brain is telling me what I already know but my heart is breaking of course um and so we're doing it we're doing a little ultrasound and you know we're looking around and we're like uh uh really can't see anything really can't see anything but you know it's early um it's early we just could not be seeing something right um whatever we get some blood work done get that ordered get that done and then um and then i go about my work day this was a rough weekend <laughs> not because of that because of course these things come in threes i am one of three during that weekend i take care of two other women going through miscarriages at the time so you know just Lord works in mysterious ways, I guess. Um, but I take care of two other women going through miscarriages while I'm going through my own while I'm at work. Um, another day comes. I'm still at work. That last day, um, I get an actual, instead of just us playing around, I um, ask some friends in another department. You can guess which department. If they could take a look for me um, and still they aren't saying anything either, right? Cool, whatever. Well, not whatever, but cool. I already suspect what I know was happening. And since we can't find anything and we're at that six week mark, we should be able to see something. Cause I'm a person who has regular menstrual cycles, all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, if my cycle is not happening, like if I've already missed it, then mm. <laughs> like, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not suspecting that it was just spotting or just menstrual bleeding. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so that happens. Luckily, I, um, I try and come in for my last day of work. I come in for my last day of work. I'm in a pretty easy, easy spot, but then if you've ever gone through it, the cramping and the pain just gets too uncomfortable, but really my mental state gets too uncomfortable because as women with periods, we work through cramps and pain all the time <laughs> um so but really my mental state gets too bad so I end up going home early which is fine um and I had a few days off to kind of get through the rest of this <laughs> um like I said at this 
time, at this time, <laughs> my husband doesn't know. And that was really hard. Why doesn't my husband know? That's probably a question you're asking. Because at this point, we're getting really close to Father's Day, right? We're getting really close to Father's Day. Um, he was the first person I bought baby stuff for. He got a diaper bag. I bought him a diaper bag, a baby carrier, um, all this stuff from, it's like tactical baby dads, tactical dad gear or something.com. I'll link it down below. And so <laughs> I literally bought him all this stuff and was planning on surprising him for Father's Day, right? I was super excited. I wanted to just wait for that time. Um, but with all of this and me coming home early from work, I never come home early from work, even when I'm sick or anything like that. I never come home early from work. So that, that was a red flag for him. Um, but I think we were like maybe a week out from Father's Day at this point. So, uh. and of course I've already bawled my eyes out to my mom. I've all this stuff, been going through all this stuff essentially by myself. Um, I finally let him know <laughs> I did it very much. I said very much. I remember coming home and just being like, I just want to let you know I'm having a miscarriage. I cannot talk about it any more than what I just said. <laughs> I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> and just needing that time. So, of course, later, um... I talked to him more about it blah 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 um and then with him of course then he starts to hover and become a hit and I'm like like I'm fine it's fine it's just like a period I'm okay um I wasn't that far along to become overly attached overly attached but just excited for the possibilities of the future um and I wasn't that far along to need like hospital attention like um, just needed to rest and be at home. So got through that. Um, so that kind of took me a bit <laughs> um, to get through. So we're like in June of last year, right? We're in June of last year. With that, um, my reading takes off because of course now my emotional state's down here. <laughs> My reading takes off. 2023, I don't think I've done my wrap up at this point, but 2023 was the largest amount of books I've read and the majority of them happened in June at the end of the year. Ah! Um, and so, those happened through the end of the year. Um, <laughs> so that's why at some point you do see some videos last year as I try to get back into some sort of routine, some sort of doing a content creation, but you know, the, the emotions wax and wane of just kind of where I was at. Cause just, it was another period where once again, I, I set myself up to go through a lot of things by myself. Um, I was lucky. I did tell, um, my closest friends when I saw them, um, just so they knew especially I wasn't just like when I start going through things I'm very much in here so that I wasn't just ignoring their text messages or you know TikTok exchange their reels and then I was going on vacation with my line sisters which was tons of fun and you know they were already they were already prepared for me to not be drinking and to you know need um you know they bought me like um um sparkling cider instead of bottles of champagne um for our for our stay um so i told them about it of course um so but that happened um so yeah so the last like year and a half two years almost has just been an emotional roller coaster let's say i did finish my bsn so i graduated um <laughs> I graduated almost a week or two later after after the miscarriage. Um, graduated, finished that up, so that was exciting. Um, somewhere in there, um, I got my certified emergency nursing. Um, 
license. Um, so that was exciting um, for some of the good things. Um, and honestly, life just kind of kept rolling. I did keep reading. I just didn't have the energy to always make the content or I would record the content and not edit the content. So it's just sitting on cameras, computers, hard drives, looking at me to be edited. So don't be surprised when you start seeing some backlogged videos, some old videos come up as I try and catch up to new videos. Um, I am trying to get to that point. Um, I'm trying to get to that point and I think I finally have a little bit of energy and a little bit of wherewithal to get through there now that we're in April of 2024. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I am very fortunate at the time of this video, I am 30 weeks pregnant. Um, so we were able to turn it around and get, and get some good news. And of course, we're very fortunate that we, um, did not end up struggling with infertility. Um, because of course, when you have that miscarriage, you know, now you're wondering, is there something, you know, I'm over here, something wrong with me. It's something wrong with me that I can't hold a baby. Um, but I've been able to hold, um, baby um for 30 weeks so far <laughs> and i'm hoping to hold her for 10 more <laughs> for 10 more weeks um so we are excited for that endeavor for that new journey in our lives i'm excited and that's kind of my update i know it was sad and depressing um <laughs> but there is a silver lining at the end of it all so guys um, but that's it for me. Please look out for more content here on the YouTubes. Um, it's going to be coming and I'm sorry that it is late, delayed. Some of it's from last year, some of it's from this year, um, but it's all, it's all coming. <laughs> it's all coming. I promise you. I promise you that. Um, anyway, so like I said, that's it for me. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am coming back. Um, I would say follow me on all the social medias. Um, I mean, I do have an Instagram account, obviously, at Life is a Page Turner. Um, I do have an X account and a Threads account, also at Life is a Page Turner or Life is a Page Turn. Um, I have not been on there because I just haven't gotten my mind right really to dive back into the full book to Brown, but sometimes I do be watching from the sidelines. Anyway, until next time, keep turning the pages. <laughs>